Capricorn, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your April tarot scope. So what's up, family? How are you guys doing, you little sexy Capricorns? I hope all is going well. I hope you are having a wonderful start of the month. Today is April 3rd. We're looking at about maybe... 1 30 this afternoon hopefully i'll have these out to you this after this evening <laughs> things kind of go fast around here anyways let's talk about what's going on oh first welcome back fam big big hugs lots and lots of loves high fives and shoulder rubs and welcome back and if you're new to my channel welcome 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 i hope that you enjoy this way that we read here and that you'd like to join our family thank you for all the likes the shares subscribes emails comments love on the gram and everything that you guys do to make me feel appreciated i truly truly appreciate you guys more than i express or can express thank you thank you thank you so let's talk about what's going on in this in this planetary stuff upstairs because there's some stuff happening so on april 5th okay that's just around the corner uh saturn is going retrograde all the way to august 25th so it's going to be 28 degrees saggy to to about 21 degrees saggy on august 25th so focus on what you want to manifest and you know capricorns you are ruled by saturn so you guys are very diligent very responsible very go-getters you're all about the good things okay now with that being said i want you to go ahead and understand that um it's very important that you guys um, start manifesting the energies that you want. It doesn't mean that you have to start planning, uh, have to start putting the plan into action right now, but it's about getting it together so that you can. Now, on April 9th, you better be ready, baby. Get that cell phone backed up, back up that computer because Mercury retrograde is back. All right, it will start on April 9th and go all the way to May 30th at five degrees Taurus to 26 degrees Aries. Now, what does that mean? That means communications are gonna go awry. So don't be texting people the wrong stuff and sending double text messages like to one homie you're talking to and then the other homie gets the same picture and then everybody knows that who's talking to who and then it blows up in your face so be very careful with your communication during this time also okay now on april 15th venus will be 27 degrees pisces and i think we will be out of this venus retrograde i thinking so i think it is so with that being said this is a great time to slow down great time to manifest your energy what do you want in love what do you want in life what do you want in career and capricorns y'all are the best planners i think y'all are very um centered and very grounded when it comes to these kinds of things so with that being said let's go ahead and get into your power animal we have no other than the elefante I love the elephant energy. I think it is some of the most prettiest energy ever. And I think it's just because of how beautiful this animal truly is. Um, the elephant wants you to take care of yourself. It is very important. This is the most self-care animal I've ever, I've ever worked with. So it's time for you to look at the big picture by going deep into your memories and releasing. It's time to release the baggage. Trust your instincts, okay? Family is going to be at an all-time importance. Think about how important their calves are to them. They're with those babies nonstop. They're with their friends' babies up in the herd. I mean, they make sure that those babies are taken care of. So make sure that you're taking care of your babies, all right? <laughs> this is about being loyal, reliable, having great memory and pride and strength. Also being gentle. This is the remover of obstacles. Think of Ganesh, okay? So... The elephant is coming in for, this is what I'm picking up right now, because I have Grandfather Sky on one side, which is family, the Dancer of Life on one side, which is representative, enjoying life, enjoying your family, having balance. So I honestly feel like for some Capricorns, there is going to be a major obstacle removed where you are going to be able to enjoy your family more. And it's going to be about commitment and listening to others. Also, just a little bit of warning, guys. Oh, I didn't set my timer. Um... Just a little bit of warning, okay? This is also about fertility. The elephant is very fertile. The dancer of life also brings forth fertility also for me. So if you're not wanting to have any babies, Capricorns, I'm going to tell you, wrap it up, okay? Make sure that you're taking care of business because this is about fertility. You think about the genitals of the elephant. They are the largest, and that's why it is also a omen, not an omen, but a good luck charm for fertility, okay? Now, 
With that being said, let's see the spirits that are walking with your elephant. So we have the spirit of empowerment. And look at all that blue, guys. You're going to be speaking your truth this month. You're going to be speaking from your heart. You're being uplifted for great things. It's time you believe in yourself and trust your intuitive gifts. They're whispers of wisdom. There's another thing about elephants. Elephants um, have vibration. They can feel the vibrations in their feet. And even though they have these huge ears to hear, they can feel the sound before it comes. So I'm telling you, you're going to have to trust those vibrations vibes that you're getting this month. Be true to yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe that you're restored and have positive energy as you're working through everything that's going on. Now, warrior of the heart, this is our polar bear energy. This is our polar bear medicine. And this polar bear, guys, this is known as the Iceman. And the Iceman can survive through the harshest of situations. So I kind of feel like this obstacle has been really hard for you to deal with. But now you're going to talk about it. And your love is so pure and so good that it's going to melt the ice that's surrounding it, okay? So no matter what others believe, the Creator always knows the truth. This isn't the time to be timid and pull back. Pull into your courage, throw your shoulders back, step back and be fearless in the face of the danger of whatever you find, you know, threatening you. I don't really think it's danger, but courage is needed. I don't know if it's courage in love, courage in career, but whatever that obstacle is, courage in the family, it's time for you to face the anxiety and go beyond it, okay? Now, we have the dancer of life, and the dancer of life is just telling you, boo, it's time to dance, it's time to live, it's time to have fun. And I attribute this to the three of discs because of the balance. And it's about being more thankful, respecting others, fertility guys, joy in all things. This is awakening also. It's almost like you wake up in the morning and instead of like I had told my daughter we need to start doing this, instead of going to our social media, instead of getting on our tablets, instead of all that good stuff, we need to sit down and we need to meditate and we need to thank our creator for the things that we're blessed with, the fact that we woke up together and the fact that we're safe, those kinds of things. And being more thankful raises your vibration so that you're going to pick up even on higher vibrations, okay? Now, Grandfather Sky is all about expansive energy, health, healing, and passion. They're coming into your life. The sky is the limit, okay? Be prepared to go high. You're entering into an expansive cycle because those obstacles are being removed by the elephant. It says do not hold back or repress what you feel, which is what I'm telling you is that throat chakra is going to be open. If you strive to meet everyone's expectations but forget to honor your own needs, your energy will become dull. So it's very important that you honor those needs. And if you see the sun is setting with the moon up there, I'm going to tell you that's your dualities. You're probably living a life during the day and a life during the night, but you need to combine those lives and you need to make them feel merged and that's going to bring joy to your family. It also says offer thanks in all things. So being thankful, being thankful that you have that family support but not taking advantage of family support or being thankful that you have that spouse who's always there for you but you're also honoring them and you're showing them your appreciation. All right? I have lots of blue coming in and yellow. So that is throat chakra and your um, solar plexus energy. So it's about having the confidence, guys, to speak up for what it is you want in your life and what it is you need in your life, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and bless our deck together. I have pre-shuffled, you heard me a little bit, um, over the deck, and we are using the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. All right, Cappies, I'm cutting the deck. Uh-oh, some of y'all are involved with a fire sign. <laughs> this has been coming up a lot. I have the Princess of Wands with conflict. Like I said, you're very fertile, so make sure you're not implanting any babies. And for some, if you're not involved with a fire sign, this simply means that it's time for you to birth what's ever in your spirit that's been causing conflict in your mind so that the elephant can remove that obstacle. And I kind of feel like if you are involved with a fire sign, this elephant is coming through and it's going to remove the obstacles so that you can merge whatever it is that you desire with this relationship, with this job, with whatever is coming through for you with the Princess of Wands. All right. Whew. Let's shuffle the deck. Saint Satil bless this deck for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of April. Show us the energy and how to work with it. Gotta keep going. Show me their energy. Show me their energy. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and remove these. I will refer back to them later. I have the Nine of Pentacles in the past, the Seven of Wands in the in the present, 
The hidden influence is the Queen of Cups. The advice is the Eight of Pentacles. The outcome is the Hermit. And your overall energy is going to be this Six of Disc reversed. But I feel like this is for you too with the Ace of Wands. Okay. So looking at this, guys, I'm going to tell you finances have kind of been on your mind lately, okay? So in the past, there was a situation you felt that you put all your time and effort in, you worked really, really hard, and then the cycle is over, and you kind of felt like, damn, what happened? Like, I, don't, I didn't come out with the return that I wanted. So it kind of left you having to decide, do I stay or do I go? And whatever that situation was for you, you decided to go because this is Ishtar when she's descending into hell to go and get the secrets. And and this is Scorpio energy in the background. Some of y'all might be dealing with um, a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces because of the Queen of Cups right next to it as the hidden influence. And then this is actually the Scorpio card. This is death. So whatever it is, I feel like you're ready to change. You're ready to leave the past behind, whether it was a failed relationship, a failed career, or a failed investment. You're ready to walk away. And you're at this point, well, look, she is butt booty naked walking through there. So I kind of feel like you're you're just, just like, nope. I'm done, I'm good, and I'm out. Thank you for your time, but I'm going to go invest somewhere else. And there you go. You're going to go get the secrets that you need to know. And that person that you're leaving isn't too happy, okay? They're not a very happy person. However, this is what you need in order to transform. This is what you need in order to move into that Saturn retrograde energy that's coming in for you. All right. Now, the Queen of Cups is sitting here with the hidden influence. And I'm going to tell you, this is a family related thing for some because of the elephant. And I kind of feel like this is a female energy that's coming through. And she's telling you, you have to trust your intuition. You have to be very intuitive. You need to be a good parent. You need to make sure that you're filling your cup up. You're taking care of yourself because that's that self-care. You don't want to run yourself ragged. And these might be new skills that you have to learn because that's the advice. And the Eight of Pentacles is looking at the Queen of Cups. Like, how do I take care of myself? How am I going to be able to learn all these new skills and apply them? And so let's see what the Queen of Cups has for us. Show me the energy behind the Queen of Cups. What does the Queen of Cups want Capricorn to know? traditions, morals, beliefs, marriage, you are going to have to learn some new skills about your spirituality, about what you hold dear, maybe what your religious beliefs are, maybe learning new ways to deal with this energy, or maybe even getting remarried or being in a relationship that can lead to marriage because you left this nine of pentacles situation that you felt bankrupt with, but you were wise enough to walk away. Now the queen of cups is telling you, hey, your traditions, your morals, let's get them in check. Let's make sure everything's going well. And then we're learning new skills for that. And the possible outcome is with this hermit. So for me, this is like a priest. And then we have a spiritual house or we have a professor and we have a university something like that that's going on whatever it is you're going to have to learn new skills but you're going to retreat a little bit and you're going to go into yourself and you're going to make sure that you're making the best decision for everyone okay so Cappy, you have some things going on that are weighing heavily on your mind okay because i feel that you're focusing on this nine of pentacles reversed as opposed to where you're at right now because you're brave you're courageous i mean you're looking sexy as hell i mean of course somebody's gonna want you <laughs> however i have two nines in your read so i feel like there's some capricorns that will be moving moving on you're either moving from a relationship moving from a job move but there is a change of address a change of something something is moving because those two cycles are done and that is why the queen of cups is telling you baby you better learn some new skills to pay them bills because life is about to change okay now the overall energy that i have for you is a six of discs so this is telling me there's either somebody taking too much of your time energy resources whatever or you're taking too much of theirs and you need to check yourself either way it goes because you know i'm reading for a large amount of people and make sure that people's hands aren't in the cookie jar too much for you all right because you're feeling the nine of pentacles so that could have been a, a cost that you had coming into this month and you're just like holy hell I'm, I'm broke 
what am I going to do? But you have to be brave. You got to figure out new ways of getting the help. All right. So it may not be asking for the help, but it may also not be giving too much help this month also. However, I kind of feel like once you balance that six of pentacles energy, you're going to have a new beginning. This new beginning that's coming in for you is going to come only after you learn the new skills and you retreat a little bit. So you're going to start off the first of the month full of courage, gun ho ready to go, all this great stuff, and then you're going to have a conversation or you're going to get the energy from this Queen of Cups who's telling you, check yourself, make sure you're doing what's right, you know, you better make sure that you're following your traditions, your roles, your morals, and does this align with your life path? Is this where you want to go? And if it is, follow those new skills, learn those new skills, learn how to be, and I'm going to tell you self-care is very important because I also take the... Um, the Ace of Wands is a medical sign also. And you see how they're kind of watching the Queen? So if I move these two cards, they're watching the Queen and they're trying to learn from her. So she has a message for you and you need to harness her energy, connect with the Queen of Cups. She's a loving, all-knowing spirit, wonderful mother, intuitive, and has psychic abilities. So you might need to tap into those this month, all right? With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give you your rune for the month, and it is Alges. And Alges is about protection, so you're going to have to protect yourself this month. And I feel like that Six of Pentacles, now that I think about it, someone's trying to take too much from you. Okay, and this is attributed to the Elk, and the Elk is representative of respect, boundaries, respecting others, others respecting you, and you learning that give and take relationship, okay? Now, Algis is assistance. So assistance is coming. And look, it looks like the same symbol, right? The little twig, and then right here, it looks just like the same signal. So I'm telling you, you're going to have protection as you move forward. It's going to be divine intervention. And look what's right behind it. This is the Hierophant. It's divine intervention. Your creator is going to come through for you. Anu is also attributed to Zeus or um, the main sky god, okay? So I feel like your creator or whoever you worship, your higher power, is going to be giving you some really good messages this month. And you need to take heed. You need to write them down. You need to make sure that you're moving forward, okay? The, the antlers on the elk, that's why the algae is shaped like this. It, it signifies that assistance is needed, and it gives you assurance that help is forthcoming. It calls for you to show courage in the face of danger, okay? Be brave. Remain alert to danger so that you can act swiftly. The thing is, and it's yellow, so it's about that confidence, guys. The thing is with algae is you got to think about you have all these branches coming off, right? Think about the deer's antlers. You got this there to show somebody, look, you get any closer, I'm going to stab you with my antlers. Though, right because I ain't walking up to no deer trying to pet it I'm, I'm a little afraid of nature okay I'm afraid of nature how and I'm from the country y'all I'm not from Houston I'm from the country however they're there for a reason and I kind of feel like they're there to protect your new beginning and if you don't let go of that nine of Pentacles energy that that new beginning is gonna fall short all right so it's about making sure that you're ready to move on and that elephant is removing your obstacles Okay, with that being said, your crystal for this month is Jasper, all right? And this is easily obtained, and it's about unfolding, nurturing, manifesting, and continuity. The energies of Jasper are subtle and deeply felt. Its colors reflect the earth's blood like the earth. It is in no hurry. You ain't got to put it into action, baby. Just plan, okay? It works well in conjunction with other fast-moving stones, allowing the energy to be balanced and grounded. The slow acting properties are useful for nurturing the self and any projects in mind. This could be simply in terms of completing something or more strongly in helping one to overcome obstacles and conflicts by generating assertive and decisive behavior. Okay? This healing energy is unifying and calming, and it's also good for energies of activating and relating to the sacral chakra, Manipura, which is your second chakra, okay? Jasper is useful for circulatory system imbalances with digestion and reproductive systems. That's why it's with the sacral and that's why the elephant's showing up, okay? So if you're having trouble conceiving, I'm telling you, with algae, the courage, the hierophant, you are being blessed and this ace of wands, yes, you are being blessed. If you want to, um, if you're looking to have a baby, I feel like this is going to be a good time for you, okay? 
Now, drawing this card indicates there's a need for a quiet, clear determination and thought. Think of an issue or concern. Are you looking to the long term or merely satisfying immediate ego-based will? And that's what the Hierophant is trying to remind you of. That's what the Queen of Cups is saying. It's like, okay, baby, are you doing this for the long run or are you just doing it because it feels good at the moment? And you need to check yourself before you get yourself too deep into it. All right? So that's what I have for you this month, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick with me for the weeklies. We will explore the Mercury retrograde, the Saturn retrograde. And also, check out my new series called Restoring. Check it out. Let me know what you think. This is where we take certain topics. We use the, the tarot to kind of break it down a little bit. We restore it, and we look at it from a different perspective. So if you have any ideas that you'd like for me to restore or any kind of uh, topic for the videos, feel free to hit me up on Instagram, email me, leave it in the comments, and then that way I can start working and doing the research on it. All right, Capricorn, big, 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 big hugs. Lots and lots of love. Be blessed, okay? Because you're looking good. Good things are coming. Just be brave. All right? Be blessed, fam.